What's up everybody, Tech Checker here, and welcome to episode 6 of This Week in Dioramas. Now, I hope everybody is enjoying the San Diego Comic-Con 2019 weekend, and I thank you so much for taking the time out of this really busy weekend to come watch this show. Now, if you aren't familiar with how this show operates, every week I go through Instagram looking for all of the absolute coolest looking dioramas out there, and then I showcase them for all to see. Then, at the end of each episode, there is a fan vote in which you get the opportunity to vote for your favorite diorama of the week. If you would like to see one of your dioramas showcased in a future episode, all you need to do is upload it to Instagram and tag it with the hashtag this week in dioramas. This will give it the best opportunity for me to actually find it and see it and then be able to showcase it potentially in a future episode. Make sure you go check out Life with Brock's YouTube channel. He is the one who started the This Week in Customs, which is what This Week in Dioramas is based off of. So go check out Brock's channel. Every week, he takes a look at all of the awesome custom action figures out there and showcases them on his channel. We've got a massive lineup of just unbelievable dioramas ready to showcase to you. But before we do that, we need to reveal the winner of last week's fan vote. If you don't recall, the options that we were voting on were the warehouse display by cremated plastic, the theater display by Outland Customs, the Lord of the Rings Dial by Diorama Mayhem, the Rancor Dial by El Chambo NYC, and the Castle Grayskull by Rich Monde FX Lab. All of these were amazing, but there could only be one winner, and the winner is the Lord of the Rings Dial by Diorama Mayhem. Congratulations to Diorama Mayhem on the win. Thank you everyone for participating in this vote. It was a lot of fun. Make sure you stay tuned till the end of this episode where I will choose my top five for this week and you'll get the opportunity to vote for your favorite again. All right, everybody, get your popcorn, your beverages, and buckle up. We are ready to get started with this week's showcase. And we are starting off with an impressive piece that is done by Crashbox Customs. And I first want to congratulate them. They had the opportunity to work with Mezco Toys for this weekend's San Diego Comic-Con display. And this is one of the pieces. It is his Popeye display piece. And look at that. We get a reveal of a Bluto from Mezco as well. All these accolades need to go to Crashbox Customs for this opportunity. This is amazing. And the work is so good. I mean, this is just an inspiring piece look at how good this is so again crash box customs congratulations on this opportunity that you got to be able to work with Mezco have your work displayed at San Diego comic-con I mean this is just unbelievable I love it I love it go give them a follow and a like and again I have to say I'm so excited to have this Bluto coming soon so cool Next up is this dumpster from D's Diorama. Really impressive piece. The paintwork is always what I like about their work. It's it's very raw and looks very realistic. I just I think I think he does a great job. So awesome, awesome piece. Great addition to any diorama. So go check him out, give him a like and a follow. And here's a really cool diode. This is actually based off of, it's a replica of uh, Cincy Nerd's Nerd Bar. And this is really cool. It's very realistic. They got a lot of the details very spot on. Just a great piece, very fun. I, I think they may have even sent it for, to Cincy. Uh, it, this is just uh, super cool. It's always fun when people do these uh, you know, creative ideas to make real things turn into a diorama. And this is one of those pieces that is just so cool. So this is from Sean's, Sean's Bro Toys. Great job, go give him a like. This one here I actually thought was a picture out in nature, out, you know, real. And this is also from Sean's Bro Toys. This is a Star Wars display with the speeder and, and the stormtrooper. But when we scroll through some of these pictures, we're going to see they actually made this tree, sculpted it, painted it. And I mean, it's just 
it's so realistic looking the the lifelike work that they did with the paint and the sculpt i mean just look at that look at the details here with the greenery and all the different paint colors you've got some uh some of those like mushroom things that grow on the side of trees i mean just this is an insane piece i love it so much so go check out sean's bro toys awesome job next is a fun little door piece this door it just looks so realistic great sculpt work awesome paint work i mean it's such a solid piece this is from lorenzen dioramas go give them a like this is it's a small piece but it's a great display piece we've got a frankenstein in here this door knocker doorknob looks really really cool it really is just a great creative piece that I'm glad to be able to showcase. Here's another small piece. This one's coming from JCCA Customs and Dios. It's a pretty small piece, but it looks like they've they've uh, given it some different options with different skulls that you can have on here. This is essentially a rooftop corner piece. Some nice sculpt work. It looks really kind of old and nasty. Look, I think there's some bullet casings, bullet shells, uh, spent ones on the top. And this is just kind of cool. It's it's a great piece. He's got lots of different options for these skulls to have on the top. You got some nice uh, graffiti up here. I like this pipe. This is a, a straw painted and just great use of materials that you can find around the house. So awesome job. Go give him a like and a follow. This piece is coming from Henry 715 they do some really good work i mean ridiculous work look at the paintwork the sculpt i mean this brickwork it looks so realistic all of the paint is amazing i mean this is next level uh, i just i'm i'm so impressed with henry 715's paintwork i mean you don't get much better than this this just there's so many different tones of color i mean right here the the concrete looks as though it's a little bit wetter than it is over here and and it it really looks so real so awesome awesome job follow henry 715 they do a lot of really good work uh, and i believe they do some commissions as well so hit them up if you are interested in this style is what you're looking for here is a piece from Hero Works. Uh, this is a really cool piece, and my favorite thing is really this ooze like green stuff that's going into the drain. So I'm really glad to be able to showcase this. I really love these rust areas. That I think it just really pops. And then, oh, actually, let's go back. That ooze stuff is coming from these little pipes, which is kind of cool to be able to know, okay, here's where the stuff is actually coming from. So thank you, Hero Works, for tagging this so that we can showcase it. Go give them a like and a follow. I believe, yeah, it looks like they ship or they actually sell their dioramas as well. So if you're looking for a commission, hit them up and see if they can make you something that will just blow you away because I'm sure they will. Now I showcased this ACBA artist last week and this is Papa Palpatine Photography. They do some amazing photography but the thing that I think is really impressive is the dioramas that they make for their pictures. So this picture alone, I mean this looks so realistic next level sort of thing but all they do is take some dirt and you know go out into the woods or whatever and then he essentially makes the trenches or whatever it is that they're looking for and digs it out and this is what i think is so cool is they they actually show us how they're making these displays which is really cool so again I've, I've noted this last week you don't have to build all of these dioramas the way that uh, everybody does with the two walls three walls with the foam and whatnot you can certainly be creative and make something like this and get some really amazing pictures so thank you papa palpatine photography for sharing this i mean this is just some next level stuff here is a really cool dio from Little Web. Uh, it's a city diner. It's just one of those old school diners. And I, I'm just really impressed with it. I love this corrugated steel look. Probably uh, some cardboard they used. And then the 
The actual sign here, the neon sign is really neat what they did. It's some sort of, you know, my theory on this, um, it looks like it's a plastic tube and I'm wondering if it's like weed whacker uh, plastic. Maybe I'm wrong. If if you happen to be watching this video, let us know what you did and how you made that. But just a really cool display. I love the attention to detail. The paintwork is really, really cool. But I'm mostly most impressed by this sign. It's really a great job. So awesome job. Go give them a like. Uh, thank you for sharing this. This is just a really great piece of work. Here is another one of those displays that just, it looks so realistic. This is from Figdorf B. Willington, and it's a really impressive piece. This is from the Indiana Jones movie, and I have to say, it's, it's very realistic looking. Awesome job with the paintwork. I, I believe they said, yeah, it's a scratch-built 118th scale tank, and it looks just like the movie. I mean, it, I'm very, very impressed with this. The only thing that I would like is to see a few more pictures because I'm, I'm really impressed with it. So give them a like and let them know just what you think and tell them, post some more pictures. <laughs> All right, this one, we're gonna play the video here. This is from Fernando Roja. And these are just some really tiny, cool props that look very, very real. The the attention to detail on this is just amazing. I mean, it's ridiculous how, how real this looks. So we're gonna try and get this video to play. Take a look at that. The paintwork is impressive. So awesome job on these little props. I, it, it just, it, it is so cool to see this just amazing work that people can do. I mean, it's so fascinating, these tiny little pieces and these little sorts of things that you can add to your project just make your entire diorama look that much better. Here is a cool diorama from Batman Figures 4112. This is a Mike, Michael Myers house and I believe these are some NECA figures, but this is just a cool little display. It's just a really impressive piece. I love this siding. It looks so good. The, with kind of the, the, the mildew on it is just, the paintwork is really, really good. It, it's a really solid piece. I think they did a great job. Uh, just kind of an intense piece with because of the, uh, the nature of the characters, but great job. Go check out Batman Figures 412 and give them a like. Next up, coming from The Beyond 1138. This is just a really clean piece that I really like. This is maybe a rooftop display where you've got the door that leads to the rest of the building. I love the paintwork on these bricks. Just the, the slight variation of the paint color on these is really impressive. And then the door also looks just really good. I just think that you did a great job on this. I love this floor. Maybe this isn't a, a rooftop, but because uh, I don't know of many rooftops that have uh, wood floor, but very impressive work. Your woodwork here looks really good. And here's a quick little work in progress picture. We've got Spider-Man for scale. So go check out the Beyond 1138. Give them a like. Let them know that you are digging this project because I think it's really cool. Here's, a, oh, don't forget this little detail here. That's really nice where the concrete is breaking away from the uh, uh, base backer or whatever that might be. And here's a really cool dojo from Marvel Action Forever. I, re I really like this one. It's very impressive. Uh, just, it's pretty big too. And, and all of the detail that they've got here, it, you can even see it looks like there's some sort of rivets or nails or something on there. So a lot of detail here that is really cool. It makes this thing stand out. You've got a weapons rack here and you know, just, just very impressive. I really like it. It's a very clean piece and, you know, awesome job. Go check out Marvel Action Forever. Give them a like. This is just a really solid piece. This one really impressed me when I first saw it. This is BJF2288. Give them a like. It's essentially a warehouse that is destroyed. You've got this big contraption that has fallen in. You've got Punisher here. So obviously there's a whole bunch of crazy stuff going on, but 
The brickwork on this is really impressive. I think they did a nice job, especially with the mortar in between the bricks. Really good job. You've got some nice little uh, variations in the brick colors strewn throughout. The windows look awesome. So just an, a really impressive piece. This ladder really looks realistic. Uh, the paintwork on here is really good. Look at this valve. That's so cool. So awesome, awesome job. Give BJF228 a like and uh, go check out this diorama. It is really impressive. And then it doesn't stop there. He's got an interior as well. And look at this. You've got lights. It's perfect piece for ACBA because look at all the different places that you could take pictures. This AC unit Look at that, they've got the Energy Star thing, and they've actually got the Energy, uh, whatever that poster is, the yellow thing that is on all of these appliances. Awesome job, this ductwork, everything is on point. So go check them out, this is really good. Here's a piece that was tagged quite a while ago with the This Week in Dioramas. This is from Anakin Morales 467 and I keep meaning to showcase this and then I, I wind up overlooking it and not doing it. And the reason that I wanted to showcase it really is the ingenuity in the uh, the actual display. So um, I believe this is using a IKEA lac. Um, shelf so one of those kind of floating shelves like this this is like 11 and 3 quarter inches it's like eight bucks and they built a diorama around it and this is a great idea for a display this is a rooftop display I've actually got three of these on my wall right now and this was sort of one of the ideas that I was thinking about doing. So this is a great idea if you're trying to find, you know, a display that you could do, this is something that I would recommend trying out. And obviously you can get any size shelf, you can build it around any sort of shelf you want, but those Ikea ones are some of the cheapest. So awesome job, great idea, I really like this piece. So go check out Anakin Morales 467 and let them know if you try this out as well. And if you do, make sure you tag and upload your pictures so I can see them. Okay, here is one of those dioramas that just kind of makes you sit back and go, wow, this is awesome. And this one's coming from Diorama Mayhem. I just really like this. Uh, it's so clean, it's sculpted so well. I really love the paintwork. It looks like it's pretty darn huge. I mean, this is just a really awesome looking piece. It looks like Raccoon Police. I don't I don't know what that's from. Somebody let me know in the comments or Diorama Mayhem if you are watching. Let me know what what this is from because I'm not real familiar with it, but this is a they're just a really cool dio. So thank you for submitting. This is actually an older one that I went back and found. Here is a really impressive diorama from DB Dioramas. This is an X-Men display and this broken down street with the uh, Xavier School for the Gifted is really cool. We've got Cyclops here. He's got a few more pictures with uh, the team, but I first want to just note the rubble and the paintwork and then throwing in the greenery here. This is just really impressive. I think they did a great job on this. You've got a whole bunch of X-Men displayed on here. Should fit in a detail if I'm guessing pretty well. So awesome job. Go give a like to DB Dioramas. This is just a really good piece. Check out this massive display from Iconic Toys. This is a Dragon Ball Z display and for size perspective, you can see behind here are some cabinets. This is like a kitchen cabinet or something. This is a massive display and it is pretty darn fantastic. I love this thing. Look at all of the details. This is just uh, a battle scene gone like crazy. I mean, this is just a amazing piece. Awesome job. Just look at all the detail. I mean, it, it, it's hard to express how cool this is. And from my understanding, I think I was reading through some of the, the uh, comments, uh, they actually made this so it's modular so that they can take it apart. I think if I'm not 
mistaken. So go check out Iconic Toys. This is a, I mean, just an un unbelievable piece. So there, it's just amazing the things that people come up with. And this is one of those that just kind of sets the bar so much higher for, I mean, the, just the scale of it. Moving along, this one's coming from Diorama Mayhem as well. And this is a Transformers display, really, really cool. Very different from a lot of the other displays that we see. Uh, some of it is just because of the, the color scheme with the orange, but this is just really, really impressive. This is made for Masterpiece figures really nicely done but it is massive look how big this is i mean it's the size of an entire countertop so awesome job i really love all the details look at all of this sculpt work and then the paint work to go with it really really cool go check out diorama mayhem they do a lot of work and they do a lot of really really good work so awesome job from diorama mayhem next up is this really cool display from 16-bit custom i really like this it is really impressive and i'm not saying that just because he's got teenage mutant ninja turtles in here this is just details galore i love all of this and especially these newspapers that are essentially plastered onto the wall i wonder how you get that to look like that uh, if it's just like really thin paper and then you soak it in glue so that it kind of thins and then you can just kind of uh, press it on i you know i'd love to know how you did that uh, just super impressive look at all of this sculpt work the paint work looks really really good awesome job go give a like to 16-bit custom they do some really really good work and i i mean the details on here are really really up there here is a batman throne this is from rhino dioramas go check them out they have a website rhinodioramas.com they make and sell 3d printed pieces so if you are interested hit them up but this is really impressive i love all of the detail work on this really good piece great job great picture so go check them out next up is this star wars display from stigma custom collectibles really cool display from the star wars movie i think that the sculpt work is very very good i mean it's it's superb we'll say uh the paintwork also is really cool here's some work in progress pics of all of the detail work that they did on this you can see there's some of the uh, poster board foam and then some regular py py polystyrene foam and just to add all of this detail work is so impressive and i really like that they gave those progress pictures so that we can see all of the work that it takes to bring something like this to life and stigma custom collectibles really brought this scene to life so awesome job go check them out give them a like and again you know thank you for tagging this with the this week in customs tag okay here we go we've got another one coming from racer john beto this is a hall of armor and they it's version two so i'm assuming they've made two of these now but this is just a really clean display i like it it's very very impressive great sculpt work awesome job good paint work you can see i like the difference of grays so you can really see those details popping out but then we've got lights lots of lights this is super cool so awesome job to racer john beto go check them out they won uh, one of the fan votes last maybe i don't remember which week but uh awesome job thanks for uploading this and sharing it with us here's another star wars display this one's from dmx enix very similar to the other star wars display that we saw from oh i forget who it was now i apologize but this is just a little bit different take on this particular piece from the endor bunker awesome job the sculpt work really really cool this is a nice shelf piece i think they did a great job i like the light that's underneath gives it that uh, extra pizzazz throw a couple figures in for this display awesome job go check out dm x enix give them a like here is a cool prop from jcca customs and dios it's a pool table i now i've never seen a pool table with red felt on the top but still this is a really cool display piece scaled pretty well for your marvel legends so these are the sorts of things that again 
adding the props to your displays are really going to make your dioramas that look that much better. So awesome job, JCCA Customs and Dios. Here's a room from Jabor Graphics. Uh, we've got Punisher and Daredevil, and this is just a nice piece. I'm really liking the floors in here. The green walls, I mean, we've all seen those rooms that have, you know, kind of a crappy choice of paint. I'm not saying that this is bad for this display. I'm saying that there's those apartments that just look bad and this is one that really brings that out. But what I really like is the brickwork that is actually sticking out from what would probably be plaster in here. Great job on that. I think you did a really nice job. The lighting doesn't do this dio justice, uh, but it's really cool. This ra uh, radiator looks really nice. I wonder if you made that from scratch or if you uh, commandeered that from somewhere else because the little dial on there, I mean, there's a lot of detail on there. So awesome job. I like the debris down in the corner. Obviously, there's going to be some debris if the wall has come off. So go give them a like and uh, check out their work. Here is a cool display from Chad Chilla. They do some really cool work. And this is a Ghost Rider display. Great job with the paintwork. I love it. The sculpting, especially on the edges here, is really, really impressive. I like it a lot. There's another picture that he's got here uh, with some better lighting for some actual photography. If you could get a little bit of light to glow that uh, flame coming from, I assume, his mouth, that would make it even better. But this is a really cool display piece for that photography. So awesome job to Chad Chilla. Go check them out. Here is another one from Crashbox Customs. They do some pretty phenomenal work. This is a great piece uh, with a stairway and a little balcony. Awesome job. The details throughout are so good. And looks like it's... Uh, okay, this, this was a commission. So go hit up Crashbox Customs if you're looking for some commission work. They do some really, really good work. Check out the details here with this chain that is operating the garage door. That is attention to detail. We're gonna cycle through some of these pictures real quick, but just look at all of the great paintwork, great, great sculpt work. Look at this, there's a little bit of water damage there. Awesome. The paintwork, so good. So good. I love it. Awesome job. Go check out Crashbox Customs. I think we might even have one more coming up from them. This next one is just ridiculous how awesome this thing is. This is from Les Grohl out of Germany. Look at this. This is so impressive. It's essentially a basketball court up against a warehouse. Look at all of the damaged windows. This is, I mean, it's so realistic and lifelike that it's hard to believe that we're looking at a diorama, especially with a picture like this. I mean, this could just be a regular picture of a real building. So, I mean, obviously this thing is massive. Look at, you've got the radiator. This is their actual room and this is the piece so this thing is massive let's see if they say how big it is here no not not so sure but this is so good the paintwork on here is just on point great pictures they, they do a really good job of taking pictures so look at the details with the grass the newspapers the garbage all of that the bricks look so good I, I'm just, I, I can't gush about this more. I like that they've got like boarded up on the backside. There's a little bit of uh, like a mesh here. I mean, maybe maybe this is like an old school. This might not be a warehouse. This might be like a, an abandoned school. But look, look at this, even stickers all throughout the pole on the basketball hoop. I mean, I, I could look at this all day. I'm just, I'm, I'll say it, I'm kind of in love with this display. It's just so good. So go check out Les Grohl. Phenomenal work and, um, you know, give him a like and make sure that you're following him because this is just so good. This piece, this wall really impressed me. It's from Pigment Surgery and the paintwork, sculpt work, all of this is this is just next level. Look at the detail on each of these rocks. It's got a little bit of 
like the, the green mildew on it and it's got all the different little colors and then you look at these metal pieces of what looks to be maybe a jail cell or something and you've got corrosion and rust and it's just it looks so realistic i'm i'm pretty much blown away look at this you can see the corrosion on this bar but it looks like it's got a little bit of uh, an actual like a texture to it so really really good job go check out pigment surgery and i know we've got at least one more coming up to showcase of theirs uh, look at look at the the freaking hinges look real i mean awesome job i love it go check them out that it's just this is this is so good i love it all right here is a teenage mutant ninja turtles display from the madman josh fisher this is super cool as well i i mean i am a sucker for teenage mutant ninja turtles but this is a great little lair loving the way that this turned out i like these little uh pipes that gives you that impression that they are underground so i'm glad that you throw those in this door looks pretty darn sweet great job on this it's a pretty good size diorama i mean for them to have that much space between each other i mean this thing's got to be pretty big i don't think it says how big they are but good job with the paintwork lots of details with all the different little posters and and props so good job on this i think anybody would love to have this but look at this we've got a power strip and we've got a power outlet <laughs> it's those details that really just set a diorama apart from all the others. So great job to the madman Josh Fisher. Check out this window from Hand Etikin Miniatures, a miniature artist. This looks so real. I mean, it, it's, it's just a window, but look at the detail with the wood grain, the paint, and then you've got the interior window and then you've got uh, the window dressings with the curtains here and then the uh, valance up there pretty blown away by it so go check them out give them a like very good job here's another one from rhino dioramas this diorama is really cool this is from the star wars uh, trash compactor scene look at all the trash we've got in here and then you know the actual diorama display awesome job brings everybody back would love to see some pictures of the actual you know luke skywalker and and chewy and leia in here awesome awesome piece i love the paintwork you've got really nice details throughout so awesome job go check out rhino dioramas this is just a fun display all right check out this tree from johnny simple this is just gorgeous it is so good i believe they just pulled some actual sticks uh, and and put this together but obviously they had to do add more to it to make it look this good but this is one of those tree props that is again next level amazing work i mean this is it, it's so good it is so good so go check out johnny simple they do a lot of insane unbelievable work so go check them out this is really really cool here's another display this one's from hero works and this is uh just a really impressive piece you've got two dioramas for the uh, aliens and predators up here and then look at all of the mint on card predators that they have right here i mean this is super cool i would love to have dis a display like this but look at how cool these dioramas are this is something that can really inspire a diorama creator in ideas of how you might make displays that you can then actually have up so it looks like they have a store so you can hit hero works up and commission something with them i'm guessing awesome work i love it so go check them out and give them a like here is a neat display i believe this is a dojo of some sort uh, from incredible bulk and I really like this. It looks so good. I love the artwork that you've got up on the walls. This wood sculpt work, really impressive. I think the, that you just did a really nice job. I'm not sure what these are. Let's see if there's a closer picture, if it's some sort of chains or something, but I'm really impressed with this. Obviously these are GI Joes, and I wonder if this one is actually an articulated icon 
um, figure that you've changed same with this but really nice job on this dojo go check out incredible bulk and here's another one from crash box customs they do such amazing work i i'm always impressed with your work it, it's so good but look at the paint detail on all of this there's so many different color variations and these trees look so good uh, I'm not sure what these characters are. Let's see if it actually tells us mythic legions. Okay It's unreal how good this is so go check them out give them a like follow them and uh, Yeah, this is look at that look at that. This is just like an ACBA photographers Dream I think so go check them out give them a like here's just a single picture that uh, I found it This is from ste.hobby. I'm not fully certain what all of this is or what scale it is but it's really cool looking it, it kind of reminds me of the castle wolfenstein original game if you remember that where it was kind of an above view look really nice i'd love to see some more pictures throughout this diorama but go check out ste hobby give them a like really really cool display Moving along, we've got what looks to be Dr. Strange's library. This is from the Chris Lyons. Uh, go check out Chris Lyons. He does an amazing, uh, amazing job on all of his work. This is just really, really cool. Very, very clean. A little different style than what uh, I'm used to seeing from Chris. I really like this bookshelf. Very clean. This is just a really impressive piece. Loving this window with the, the uh, I forget what this is called, but this sanctum... What are they? He's calling it a mid-sized sanctum sanctorum. Uh, awesome job. Go check out Chris Lyons. Here is a repainted Ecto-1 Hallmark, uh, I believe it's an ornament, from Cremated Plastic. So I believe at the end is where they've got the picture, the original, without the paint. So here is the clean look from the ornament. And then if we go back, you can see as they've dirtied it up a little bit more. Look at the paintwork here. They've added a little bit more to this. So impressive job. Uh, this is one of those display pieces that, you know, if you see something out there that just needs a little bit of extra touch, these are the sorts of things that you can do to add to a diorama and you can really make things look so much better. I think they added the lights to this as well. So go check out Cremated Plastic. This is just really cool. This is from Kevin DeLenti. He does some awesome, awesome work. I mean, his work always looks so realistic, so lifelike, and this is one of those pieces that the brickwork, the paintwork, it, it looks so realistic. So if we scroll through here, you can see this is obvious. This is not a real you know, out in the wild kind of picture. This is just a piece that they made and it is so cool. It's ridiculous how awesome this looks. I love all the graffiti. This is really, really impressive. So go check out Kevin Delenti. They, they do remarkable work. Here's another one of those display pieces that, uh, like I was talking about with the Ghostbusters vehicle, where you can get a vehicle and then repaint it to make it look that much better. And that's what Henry 715 has done with this uh, semi-truck. It is so impressive. I love the paintwork that you've done on this. Adding the rust throughout. Uh, it, it just, I mean, even the, the tires, they look real. I love what you've done here. Look at this. I don't know if this is gonna be rust or if this is mud, but really, really nicely done. Check out Henry 715. He's obviously a very, very good painter. I mean, just look at the quality of all of this. I, 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 I wonder what scale this is. Let's see. Uh, oh, okay, so he's doing a raffle on this. So you're gonna have to buy some uh, raffle tickets of some sort. So hit him up if you want a chance of being able to get this. And it looks like he's got 30 spaces and a few are already filled. So as of right now, you might have a chance of winning this. So hit him up on uh, Instagram and follow the rules for how to enter this raffle to win. So I believe we saw this one in a previous episode. This one's from Diorama Mayhem as well. And I did ask if we could see some more pictures and they have obliged, but they have another diorama right next to this. So maybe you'll recognize this display awesome piece loving it it looks so good and then i mean it just 
Look at this, there's so many little details on here. Thank you for sharing more pictures of this. Uh, it, it's, it's always fun to see as many angles as possible on these different displays. But then we've got another piece over here with uh, kind of like a back alley almost, but uh, this is like a garage front. Thank you so much Diorama Mayhem for sharing this. This is the one that we originally saw uh, in the previous episode. Here is a display that is being shared to me from Doodog Reviews, but it is made by DB Dioramas. And Doodog bought this display and now he's got his Hercules up on here. Awesome job, so go check out DB Dioramas. We'll just bring you to their profile. That way then you can see some of their work. Here's the images of the project that they had submitted. Just a nice little display piece that uh, a lot of different figures could be displayed like Hella or others. Here's another one from Pigment Surgery. They do some really, really good work and this is no exception. I love the greenery throughout, but look at the work that we've got here. I mean, the sculpt work is so good, it's on point in all respects. I just love this piece, it's so good. So go check out Pigment Surgery, look at that, we've got some backlight, awesome job this throne room <laughs> looks it, it just looks so good so thank you so much for submitting this this is just a really really splendid piece and here is a really neat piece from Lawrenson dioramas Lorenzen Lawrenson dioramas this is a pretty small display piece, but it looks really, really good. It's kind of a medieval look. Uh, I really like it. The sculpt works, or the sculpt looks really good. The paint looks really good. It's just a fun piece. I think this is for Mythic Legions, maybe? I, I'm not sure what this character is, but I am pretty darn impressed with this piece. And here is another one from Crashbox Customs. Like I said, they do amazing work. This is Commissioner Gordon in front of a bank vault, and the bank vault is the piece that they made. Look at this. I know I had been following this on Facebook for a while, and this turned out so good. It is so impressive. Look at that. That, I mean, wow. <laughs> this is so realistic looking. I, I mean, I'm, I'm so impressed by this. So great job to Crashbox Customs. I'm, I'm so impressed. And if you get a chance, um, can you post up all of the pictures of all of the display pieces that you were able to do for those Mezco displays at SDCC, that would be awesome. I'd love to see all of those uh, and, and just to know that those are all yours. So awesome job. Go check out Crashbox Customs. Make sure you congratulate them on their uh, impressive deal of being able to be the person creating dioramas for Mezco. Check out this amazing display from Jerome J. Mini. I mean, this is, uh, this is just freaking amazing. It's so unique and just so different, but I really love this idea. Essentially, it is like a floating piece. Uh, I think they've got it on like a pedestal or something, but it's, it's just a piece of ground with a display piece on top. And this is just such a cool piece. It's so good. I mean, look at that. It looks so realistic. This is obviously not comic book related, but I mean, the, the level of workmanship on this is so darn good. I think this looks like they built it based off of this little shack and then they recreated it in diorama form. So amazing work. Go check out Jerome J. Mini. It's a little bit different work than uh, what we would typically see with uh, action figure stuff. But I mean, still the, the level of workmanship and talent here is, is, I mean, this is so next level. So awesome job to Jerome J. Mini. And last but not least, coming from Kit Bash Customs is this fantastic diorama piece. I'm really impressed with this, especially the floor. I mean, this, the paintwork on this makes it look that like it's just like it's real. It's so good. Look at this. You can see that it it's made to look as though there's some either water damage or some sort of damage on here, and it really looks good. This wood floor is coming, you know, being peeled off a little bit. 
great job with this. I'm so impressed with it. Look at this, you've got more water damage and just nastiness coming down. You've got some of the plaster that would have come off and then you see the wooden slats coming through, I believe. So it's just a really cool abandoned apartment room or whatever that might be. Great job. Uh, really impressed with this. I I'm, I'm, can't say enough good words about this thing. So awesome job. Thank you so much for tagging it. Uh, thank you to everybody who has tagged their project pictures on Instagram with the hashtag this week in dioramas. It is the best way for you to get considered for a future episode. Alrighty, there you have it. It is time for me to pick my top five of this week so you guys can vote. And here they are. Let's roll with the basketball court, pigment surgery with the throne room, crash box customs with the Popeye Mezco display, Sean's bro toys with the nerd bar, and Henry 715 with the abandoned warehouse room. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this. Make sure you go vote for your favorite on the community tab on my YouTube channel. It will be there shortly after this goes live, and I will let you know who won next week. Alrighty, there you have it, folks. I hope you enjoyed this episode of This Week in Dioramas. If you did, make sure you hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, hit the bell notification so you find out about the next episode. Go out and share this video. Let's grow this show as much as we possibly can. And even more importantly, go upload your diorama projects and tag them with the This Week in Dioramas hashtag so I can find them. And I will see you next week.